hey guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to be showing you different types of locks using different types of hair this hair is spring twist hair that i get off of amazon i will put the link of the hair below this is marley hair this is my favorite type of hair to use on faux locks it's about five dollars a pack or six dollars a pack depending on where you go and this is water wave hair that I got online. It's not my favorite. Sometimes it feels pretty crunchy. Like when you squeeze it, you hear like a sound. I don't like that. Now the first lock I'm going to do is a butterfly lock using the spring twist hair. As you can see, this hair kind of has more of a, I don't want to say rough texture, but more of a kinky texture. It's not as silky and smooth as water wave hair. I do prefer to use this hair on my locks though because I love the overall outcome with using this hair. So again, this is a butterfly lock. And as you can see, I always wrap tightly about three or four times at the beginning of the lock. And then I begin to do the butterfly look. Okay, now here I'm going to slow it down and show you how I add a piece of hair. So I take a sh the shorter end of the hair and I add it to the hand that's holding the lock and the hair. And then I begin to wrap the long piece around with the shorter piece of hair that I've used to wrap. And then once I'm done that, I take the shorter piece and pull it back down and grab it with my other hand and then begin to wrap again with the longer piece. And there is your butterfly lock using spring twist hair. As you can see, it's not as shiny. It only looks pretty shiny because of the lighting, but it's not that shiny and it's not that silky. But I love the overall presentation or the look of the lock. Now I'm going to do a butterfly lock using the water wave hair. As you can see, the water wave hair is much longer it's normally about 22 inches. When I purchased the spring twist hair, it comes in different lengths, but the shortest length is eight inches. And then the longest length that I have seen is 14 inches. So now I'm going to begin wrapping the same way I did with the spring twist hair. And as you can see, you can already tell that it's a lot shinier. It's a lot silkier. It's not as rough of a texture as the spring twist hair. This next lock I'm doing is a distressed lock. Now I haven't done these before on a client, but from 
just practicing or watching other YouTube videos, I've seen them do this method. So I'm using the spring twist hair on this one. And I'm going to do the same technique that I do with the butterfly locks, but I'm not going to use my thumb to pull the hair out. Once I separate the hair, I'm just going to wrap. Um, I don't wrap as tight as I would do a regular faux lock or goddess lock. And I think that's what gives it more of its distressed look. But as you can see, when I wrap, it still has that messy look. And it's kind of similar to a butterfly lock, but you just don't see a lot of the loops because you're not using your thumb to pull the hair through. Last but not least is the faux lock or goddess lock. The difference between a faux lock and a goddess lock is when you do a faux lock, there is no curly hair out at the end. You either burn the ends or tie a knot on the ends to keep it secure. With the goddess lock, you use deep wave hair um, or like a wavy hair and you leave the curly hair out on the ends and it gives it that really pretty look. Goddess locks are my favorite lock to do other than a regular lock. So here I'm just using Marley hair. That's normally the type of hair you use for a faux lock. I do not like to use the Cuban twist hair because it is too thick for me and it doesn't really give that shiny look. I love that neat shiny look on faux locks. So I prefer to use the brand that was in the beginning of the video. I forget what it is off the top of my head. Um, but that is my favorite hair to use when I do the faux locks and goddess locks. So guys, that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something in this video. If you did, make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you with my next video.